Ladies and gentlemen, the Critics Hub. Let's now talk about the many sides of voice actor radio finale. <laughs> you got more than reason to celebrate, especially if you're um, uh, especially you if you uh, if you follow this anime from from uh, uh, from the pilot, of course. Ah, pasa di dagdag natin. Chris, you pacing na kasi. Um, for siguro for about two sequences worth, medyo tense kasi uh, all throughout the um all throughout the voice acting scene, uh, it, it was sort of a tense atmosphere kasi. Siempre ang uh, ang ginagana pa kasi ni ni uh, ni Yumiko ay isang kontrabida. Si Chika naman yung bida. The focal point of that scene is with is the is the um. Is the, is the boss battle which requires both their voices kasi beat that contra beat eh. boss battle na do I have complaints guys? wala uh, I really have no right to complain about the pacing of this episode balance eh, ang pacing because after uh, after probably the most crucial scene uh, in all of the second half of this anime's run uh, naging chill na and syempre nagka uh, nagkasabihan ng uh, uh, ng hinaing yung dalawa and of course uh, well they ended up with a common goal to uh, to surpass veterans like uh, Ono and Mori yung mga nakatrabaho nila for this anime hindi yung anime mismo na na, na many sides uh, yung, the anime that, be, that, they, that they've been working on within this anime okay what malito so overall, guys, uh, no one has the right to complain about the pacing of this episode. Uh, very slice of life-ish. Very um, uh, if there's a, yeah, there's there's a there's a workplace there's a there's a workplace genre in this anime, but but it, but it is a sub a sub genre. So very workplace-ish, very slice of life-ish. So balance talaga yung pacing. So naman, first gear shift. Uh, was when actually the opening the opening sequence though when Chica started laying down the facts about Yumiko no brainer right there folks dahil ito ang nag trigger ng finale uh, because if you uh, if you go back to episode 11 humingi na ng tulong si Yumiko kay Kichika uh, regarding her acting regarding um uh, what's wrong? It's and what's wrong and what's right with her voice acting. Right. perfect setup for uh, perfect setup for this finale. Itong gear shift nato. Second gear shift uh, was when the director shouted, uh, shouted cut. Umaga, he, he probably ended the session na. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me this is a gear shift. Bakit? What? Well, it just goes to show you that um. Job well done for Yubiko? Kasi, eh, hindi na humingi ng retake ang, ang kanilang direct eh. The director did not ask for another retake anymore. He was totally satisfied with Yumiko's performance right here. Uh, I don't know, hindi naman ako artista. Pero, uh, I could feel that in real life, uh, actors and actresses, whether it be voice lang or live action, Kapag nakuha lang nila sa isang, sa isang take ang isang eksena, it means job well done. Right? If, the, if the direction, it's the, uh, it's the ultimate way of getting the director's approval. If you got it right on the first take. Kapag kapag ni Billy Joel, get it right the first time. Final gear shift was when uh, Asaka announced their, uh, their special project for their radio show. For me, this is a gear shift because um, it probably triggered the love-hate relationship. Nothing is confirmed kung uh, kung any romantic level na yung dalawa. Pero palagi ko, no, it's far from it because um, nakakasunugan na sila rito. Bottom line, this gear shift triggered the um. Uh, trigger that that uh, that rather hilarious final scene, All right? 
probably the most probably the most hilarious scene in all of the an in all of this anime where they I don't know about you guys but for me this was the sequence that triggered um prospects for another season plot lies uh huh I could not see this finale as having a side story or backstory na hindi mapuputol yung uh, yung momentum ng story therefore malinis ang blood guys I mean come on di ba oh, what's the point in putting in a side story or backstory within the confines of an anime especially kung uh, if you're not sure kung babalik pa ito well the only way to for an anime to go up with the bank is with a really clean storyline this one has one it has a clean plot right superbly clean plot guys arguably uh, based on the plot this would be the uh, this would be the anime's best episode okay this would be the anime's best episode so base flow and plot all came together and um quite a slight but slice of lifeish way to to close volume 15. Uh, it's been a um uh it's been a rather quiet volume for us uh Notwithstanding, um, notwithstanding the Singoku, uh, the Singoku Yoko, notwithstanding Singoku Yoko episode 13, uh, during the first week, right, uh, that was a really, uh, it's one of the tensest finales I have, uh, I've ever reviewed, but, uh, all throughout, up to this point, uh, we've had a, um, uh, we've had a, a rather chill, uh, spring 2024 anime season. Right? Uh, from, from the eyes of the critics of, of course. Based on, uh, based on this roster. We've had a, um, we've had a, we've had a chill volume 15. Okay? And, a lot has happened. Uh, I lost a laptop. And, um, this, and now this tablet had uh, had its uh, had technical difficulties of its own a few hours ago, uh, which I'm still dealing with. So uh, I'm really uh, I'm really praying to the high heavens right now that uh, that I can uh, that I can secure a laptop. Uh, within uh, within next uh, next anime season and so uh, so I can so that I can um, pump out the usual uh, the usual content I dish out to you guys uh, with some anime uh, of course the review of the week what can you expect now for volume 16 More reboots and um, uh, more brand new animes, of course. But um, we're gonna have a more uh, a more consistent lineup, right? Uh, coming in, no more than one anime is going to uh, is going to end airing during uh, during a particular week. Okay. And of course, uh, I'll be looking forward now to our milestone week, week 200. Malapit na. And of course, uh, our vacation, which will uh, which will happen after volume six, uh, after volume 16 ends. So I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, but I need to, uh, I need to. Uh, uh, anyway, so basta, I am looking forward to. Uh, to the next anime season, not because uh, of the milestone, but because 
not not because of the vacation of the vacation not also of the milestone but uh, with the uh, with, with the incoming lineup we have again the randomizer gave it to me again uh, randomization has uh, has been uh, has been uh, helping the critics up a lot all right so it's all it's always challenge accepted every season now for uh, for me personally. Uh, expect we should expect bigger things. Okay, we should expect bigger things uh, from the critics hub. I'm getting that. Uh, I'm getting that feeling right now that after the vacation, it's going to uh, it's going to be big for the critics hub. Okay. That's what I'm seeing right now, and uh, I'm praying that uh, I can uh, I could get my gadgets in order just to deliver the deliver the content to you guys. So, see you next week for Volume Sixteen.